Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're doing awesome today. So now I'm gonna read to you the English translation of a statement that is written by the awaited Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad Al Yemeni on the 11th of April 2009, titled "A Brief Statement About the Antichrist, the False Messiah, the Insolent Liar." In the name of Allah, Ar Rahman, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful. Have you people made God a human? In that the difference between Him and the Antichrist is just that God is not one-eyed? Glorified and sublimely highly exalted is He above what they say. Allah the Exalted said, There is nothing like unto Him, and He is the All-Hearing, the All-Seeing. Surah 42, verse 11 in Allah the Exalted said, See you the water which you drink? Is it you who send it down from the clouds, or is it we who send it down? Surah 56, verses 68-69 Allah gave you the ruling in the clear verse that He is the one who sends down rain from the clouds. Glory be to Him. Meaning that this is a sign of Allah only, and it is not for anyone but Him to come with this sign. So how do you claim that Allah would support with this sign someone who claims to be a God while it is one of the signs and proofs of the oneness of God glory be to him? Because then, Allah would have no argument against us if we believe who comes with such a sign. But Allah would never give us a clear case against himself glory be to him. Nay, but to Allah belongs the conclusive argument. And I do not find in the book anything to support this tremendous invented fabrication. Nay, what I find is the challenge from the Lord of the worlds is that not an atom's weight in the heavens and on the earth will obey the commands of falsehood. Confirmed in the word of Allah the Exalted. Say invoke those who you have claimed besides Allah. They do not possess an atom's weight in the heavens or in the earth nor have they therein any partnership with him, nor has he among them any as backup. Surah 34, verse 22 That is because if the Antichrist commands the sky to rain, then it obeys and rains and commands earth to grow plants, then it obeys and grows, then Allah would have no argument against us. That is if you were truthful in your claim about the Antichrist. That is because Allah challenged falsehood to do that, and the verse is clear and obvious. Say invoke those who you have claimed besides Allah. They do not possess an atom's weight in the heavens or in the earth, nor have they learned any partnership with him, nor has he among them any as backup. Surah 34, verse 22 Meaning not a single atom in the heavens and the earth would obey the commands of the Antichrist because falsehood did not partner with Allah in creating the heavens and the earth. Thus, not a single atom in the heavens and the earth would obey the command of the Antichrist. The rain doesn't come down from the heavens, but from the clouds around the earth. But sending the rain down is of the signs of God. If Allah was to support with His miracle the Antichrist, then why did He say, these are the verses of Allah, we recite them unto you with truth. Then in what discourse after Allah and his verses will they believe? Surah 45, verse 6 Meaning these are the verses and the signs of Allah that shows his oneness. We recite them upon you with the truth. In from amongst these verses are the following. See you the water which you drink? Is it you who send it down from the clouds, or is it we who send it down? Surah 56, verses 68-69 How could you believe that Allah would support His enemy with His own signs, while they are the proof of His oneness in the book? Do not you understand? What kind of scholars are you people? I swear by Allah the Great, none would believe such calumny and slander but the headless ones who do not reason with all due respect to the scholars of the nation. But how could you follow such fabrication that contradicts all the clear verses of the Holy Qur'an, and that cannot be accepted with logic and reason? 
Do not you fear God? We've got more than a thousand pieces of evidence from the clear verses of the Quran as negation to this wrong belief among the beliefs of the deception of the Antichrist. The enemies of Allah just want to deceive you away from what has come to you in the book. And they did. And have buried people from the way of Allah. How evil it is that which they have done. But you will not be able to bring forth one proof from the Holy Quran to prove your point. Nay, you will find the exact opposite. Because Allah gave you the ruling that it is not for anyone to come with any of the signs of his oneness. That is why you find him glory be to him challenging in saying, Say invoke those who you have claimed besides Allah. They did not possess an atom's weight in the heavens or in the earth, nor have they therein any partnership with him, nor has he among them any as backup. Surah 34 verse 22 See you the water which you drink? Is it you who send it down from the clouds, or is it we who send it down? Surah 56, verses 68-69 These are the verses of Allah. We recite them unto you with truth. Then in what discourse after Allah in his verses will they believe? Surah 45, verse 6 But you have disbelieved the signs of his oneness and claim that you are still in guidance, while in fact the hypocrites have turned you back after your belief, to being unbelievers in the verses and signs of Allah in the clear verses of the Holy Quran. The judgment is Allah's, and He is the swiftest of accountants. So flee to Allah, indeed His enemies have pushed you away from the straight path. Peace be upon the messengers, and praise be to Allah, Lord of the words. The Imam Mahdi, Nasir Muhammad al-Yamani. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.